Hundreds of migrants are feared dead after their boat capsized off the coast of Libya. Italian officials say 18 ships are searching for survivors. In the past week, nearly 10,000 refugees have been rescued at sea and brought to Italy. Alan Pizzi in Rome has more on this growing crisis. A call from a rescue vessel summed up the horror. We're checking who is alive and who is dead among the bodies floating in the water. The disaster in what was already dubbed the most dangerous passage in the world prompted calls for something to be done. We're here with about 300... CBS News was aboard one of the rescue ships which picked up migrants from a sinking boat a few days ago. What they had to endure is almost beyond imagining. Migrants tell tales of being held in appalling conditions by smugglers who often beat them. They're all Libyans. They're all back. They only put you in the boat and leave you there. It's now left to you. At his Sunday blessing, Pope Francis appealed to the international community to take swift and decisive action. They are men and women like us, our brothers seeking a better life, starving, persecuted, wounded, exploited, victims of war, he said. They were looking for a better life. The refugees come from war-ravaged and impoverished parts of Africa and increasingly Syria. These twin brothers made it to the island of Lampedusa. If we had stayed, we would have been dead, Mohammed said. You only die once in your life. We decided to risk dying trying to reach here. French President Francois Hollande labeled the smugglers terrorists and called for a much more intense fight against human smuggling. One option being proposed is a blockade on Libyan ports from where most of the boats set off. But that isn't likely to stop the smugglers from trying to make money or the desperate from taking the potentially lethal risks. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Rome.